this is a quick main setup I'm working on. Uh, it's part way done, but it, it's at a point where I can show off the main feature that I wanted. I've always wanted to be able to play vertical games such as Donkey Kong, Miss Pac-Man, and a lot of the shoot 'em ups uh, with proper monitor orientation. And I looked at building an arcade mod setup where I can achieve this without having to uh, sacrifice too much room. So what I've got here is a mount done by a company called Mounted that is up against the wall. And uh, a lot of the depth I get from the setup is actually just because I'm running it on a TV. I've got a couple arcade sticks. All my cables are running off the side here and I'm working on cleaning those up, but that's gonna actually probably take me longer than uh, everything else I've set up here. And inside of here, this is the, Steam Com the Steampunk RetroPie box that I built. Um, and I've got the Instructable linked uh, and the video for how to build that. Off of that RetroPie, I've got a system called Moonlight. And Moonlight allows me to run basically a PC uh, streaming box on the Pi. It's very similar to what you see with a Steam box and such. And on that, I'm running a front end called Big Box which is a paid version of a program called LaunchBox. So with that setup, I get a very beautiful, very fast, very performant, and very, very um, compatible setup here. I can run things I would normally never try to run on a Pi uh, very smoothly. I can also back out and run Steam games if I'd like. And the big feature I wanna show though is here I've got a vertical shooter, this is 1945. And when I start this, what will happen is I have it set to start up clockwise. So there you can see the setup. And what I'm gonna do is just take my hand and place it on the corner here and pull down a little bit. And there you go. And now the game's in the correct orientation. The only Downside of this mount, it has a lock that will lock it vertically, but it's a little bit fidgety on getting it straight. It actually will go back and forth about four or five degrees, so you have to kind of tweak it a little bit to get it straight. But when it is, I now have a vertical setup that was dynamically changed, and uh, I've got my arcade sticks, and I can play the game as it was meant to be played. Now, one other thing I'll do is when I back out of the game, Again, I just grab down here. You hear that click when it unlocks. And there's another click when it's horizontal. Give it a little bit of time to straighten it out in a second. And there we go. And now we're back up to a horizontal setup. And uh, a lot of my Steam games are horizontal. Matter of fact, the main things I find vertical are main um, arcade games. Uh, a lot of the shooters and, uh, of course, Donkey Kong, Miss Pac-Man, games like that. But it's really nice to play them without them being scratched or um, uh, basically misformatted in any way. And because I don't get giant black bars on the sides because they're a vertical game, they actually render a lot larger than they normally would. So that was a benefit I didn't expect. The mount was $50 on Amazon. Um, very simple to get, no big deal. They have other mounts, uh, various prices that will do the same thing. I'll link to the one I got, and uh, if you guys have any feedback or questions, let me know. And um, I'll go into the Moonlight setup and the RetroPie setup in another video. Uh, I found it uh, quite useful to be able to remote my PC to this and have all my Steam games available on arcade sticks without having to uh, basically replicate the setup with another PC. Thanks for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. Uh, appreciate the, the positive comments and encouragement. And uh, I will be getting back to CNC videos in a couple months. I'm still working on getting my shed built. Until then, I've got other geek tools uh, such as retro or Raspberry Pis and Arduinos to go over. And you'll start seeing those videos soon. Thanks a bunch.